day two. I'm gonna at least mount this bracket. Let's take a look. Existing bracket. I'm just gonna reuse that. Uh, put this on top, facing that way. And this will be right there. I'm going to do a little bit of fabrication or modification here. So I'm going to take this out completely. Right there, right there. This was the existing. Yeah, put this back on top. Okay, take a look at that. That's sweet looking. But the way I did it was I put this, this used to be underneath. I put it up there so I could still plug it, use it right there. Now, also drilled a hole on the new bracket. And notice I just added one more right there. A nut and bolt right there. Let's put it in. Okay, this thing came with this, so I just need to plug this in right here. How about that? That's beautiful. I just need to wire this uh, other four. Okay, just put a bolt in there, a little tricky, but that's okay. That nah, ain't going anywhere. So two wires going to the back. And don't forget the blue is uh, attached to my ECB already. So, and also I need uh, to power up the trailer and that would be the red. Feed this through. Yep, I see it. Okay, I fed it through the gap right here and it came out right here. that way and probably snake it in and out of the, uh, the chassis. There's another one. Hook 
that right here. There you go. On to the next hole. So I got that out. So. There you go. Feed it through. Halfway through the car. getting to the hard part right there so I'm gonna take a chance on the uh, fish tape I'm gonna go ahead and go fishing through my uh, chassis okay I got the fish tape right here <clears throat> fed it right there this is uh, my seven pin and again I fed the uh, fish tape right there and I started weaving through there, so I finally got to uh, where this is on the right spot. So um, it was getting trickier anyway because of this curve right here, upward and sideward. So um, let's see if we get lucky. Okay, remember I was weaving through those holes right here. And fortunately, um, I got lucky right here with the fish tape. Don't want to lose it. There it is. Come on. Yes. Perfect. So, just need to feed this through. One. Now, tape that up. All right, I'm rushing. Better secure that even more. Don't want to lose it. I could probably do a better job securing this, but I have the camera on and it's in the way. A better position, so there you go. Uh, let's yank that. That. And slowly feed it. Okay. Beautiful. And get this undone. Okay, here's where we're at. We got the yellow wire, which is actually my blue wire, uh, connected to my uh, EBC, electronic brake controller. The red one is actually the 12 volts hot, 
and it's about to go right here on this black on my uh, trailer connector so as you can see it's short so I'm gonna have to extend it using a butt connector um, might as well make it black so hang tight so we're good I'll button this up later but the main thing is get this going get it connected right there give it a tug it's good all right if I have to weave this through this is gonna be a little tricky Too much. That's okay. I clean it up. Yeah, that's perfect. Give it a good squeeze. Let's give it a tug. Alright, let me clean that up. Tuck that in. Right there. Tuck that in. And I'm just going to run this. Same way. This is the blue. Right there. If I bundle it up. So, right there. Okay, this is the last of it. There we go. Okay, so this yellow was connected to the blue. This was my red, connected the black wire, and the white one is ground. As far as it's concerned, look like I am good to go. Okay, look like we're all wired up. Just dress it up a little bit. I'm going to end it right there, right by the butt connectors. How about that? That's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't clicked subscribe, click subscribe uh, and click on that notification bell. It's a quick summary. This was facing that way. I just put it upside down. Um, so I could still use it. The good thing is this thing has its own four flat pins So I really don't need to do it, but I don't want to cut the wires Just in case I need to take this out and move it to another truck so I could still reuse it. I had drilled a hole on this bracket right there to use the existing uh, bolt and uh, Just to keep it in place. So it's not twisting. I added another uh, nut and bolt right here uh, and uh, Make sure that it doesn't move. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. Bye for now.